Hey guys, it's Anna, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you the best of Wet n Wild, one of my all-time favorite drugstore brands. I just love giving you guys bomb affordable makeup options. You don't need to spend a pretty coin to get good makeup, just, just a little coin. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into it because I only have a few minutes to film this video. <laughs> Starting off, this is their Perfect Pout Lip Scrub, and you guys have to try the Pecker Up flavor specifically because I kid you not, it smells identical to the Sour Patch Kids watermelon candies, which are my all-time favorite candies ever. So first of all, it smells great, which is always a plus. And second, it does a really great job of scrubbing off dead skin off of your face. And it's not painfully tough on your lips. It's a pleasant experience. It's very cheap. I would highly recommend this. And it's limited edition, so stock up while you can. Then we have one of my all-time favorite primers. This even beats a lot of my high-end luxury face primers. This is the freaking bomb. The Photo Focus Dewy Primer is absolutely stunning on this skin. Your skin will look so beautifully pearlescent and glossy. I think this is a fantastic dupe for the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, but I think it's even better. I've said this so many times in the past. If you were to compare both primers side to side, when you first put this on, it's not going to look as glowy as the Becca Backlight, but just give it a moment. Let it warm up on the skin a bit, and I kid you not, it looks so much prettier on the skin, way more dewy and glossy and it has a bit of tackiness to it so it actually makes my makeup last longer. I find that normally with glowy hydrating primers that's pretty much all they do for me. They won't really add to the longevity of my makeup but this is everything I look for in a primer. Hydrating, glowy, beautiful, long-lasting, everything I would ever need and it's cheap. Then we have the Photo Focus Foundation and I'm actually going to pull up a list on my phone because right now I'm testing out all these different drugstore foundations foundations for my best of drugstore foundations video. So I take lots of notes um, along this process so I can tell you guys everything about this. I will say the smell is not fantastic. It definitely smells like straight up paint, but once it dries, it's not going to smell like that on your face all day long. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is killer. This lasts all day long on my face. This beats a lot of my high-end foundations even in terms of longevity. It's incredible. I find that this delivers a buildable medium coverage. You're going to get a matte finish with this, but it's not drying at all on my face. I have dry skin for those of you guys who didn't know. As you wear it throughout the day, it doesn't break apart funny or start looking cakey. And I found that during my many, many wear tests, I get about nine hours out of this. This is a water-based foundation, so make sure you're also using a primer that is also water-based in conjunction with this because if you don't it will pill up and be a crazy mess real quick. That's like the general rule for all foundations like silicone base, water base. You want to pair those foundations and primers together but some foundations can be really sensitive to that if they're not the perfect pairing and that's this. So just make sure you have the perfect primer with this but when it works, it works. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. <laughs> then we have the Photo Focus Concealer. I feel like everything I've talked about is Photo Focus. If you have issues with your concealer crease seeing real bad try this out because I feel like this is a great tart shape tape dupe but not as full coverage as that and not as drying. It still adds like killer coverage but it's not as much as that one. It provides a comfortable matte finish so it's not going to look too drying on your face. So yeah, all in all I would basically view it as a less intense tart shape tape and way more affordable. Oh my gosh. It's like, what, $28 or something like that? Oof. Wet n Wild truly holds the title for my all-time favorite drugstore contouring products. Their Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I have mine in the shade at Dulce de Leche. And then this is their Mega Glow Makeup Stick, Makeup Contour Stick in the shade Call Me Maple. And I just wanted to throw this out there, but I've been hearing a lot of amazing things about their new color icon bronzers from their dragon collection and I've been looking everywhere for them but I can't find them in any stores around me. I've been searching for a while. So I haven't tried those. I can't give them my stamp of approval but from what I've heard and what I've seen they look beautiful. I'm pretty sure they have like a satin finish to them with like the tiniest little bit of a sheen and I've heard that they're very beginner friendly. They don't apply as pigmented and as dark as they appear in the pan so 
maybe try it out. I don't know. They're probably like five bucks. But these I have tried religiously. I honestly don't feature this on my channel too, too often, but off camera, I am obsessed with this. This is my go-to cream contour slash bronzer at the moment. This provides the most stunning, beautiful, rich terracotta terracotta color that I am always raving about. I feel like for the longest time and still kind of currently cream products are very scary to me. It's very, you know, iffy on how the makeup look can turn out. But with this product, I would highly recommend it to beginners. It blends so beautifully and truly looks a part of your skin. It is stunning. And because of this color specifically, I don't go in with two products, a contour and a bronzer because it really doubles as both for me. This, I have hit pan on both sides, as you can clearly tell. This is the most perfect contour shade for my skin tone. This has a luxury feel to this product. It's so creamy. It's at the perfect pigmentation, blends itself out. And I also use this side to set down any concealer, brighten up any places that I want. This is so amazing. Then we have their Color Icon Blushes. I put these in my Best of the Drugstore Blushes video because they are killer. Also, super beginner friendly because they're just really easy go-to blushes for me. Like, I really don't ever need to think about blush when I put these on. These two are my favorite shades. We have Mellow Wine and Apricot in the middle. Mellow Wine is a matte and Apricot in the middle has just the tiniest bit of a golden sheen to it. Oh my gosh. And these go beautifully with any makeup look, really. They just have a great medium pigmentation so you don't need to build it up for a long time you don't need to be worried about packing on too much they blend really nicely they last a long time on the face and they have a pretty good shade range as for their highlighters they have quite a few in their brand but the mega glow highlighting powders are my favorite i've also heard really good things about their loose highlighters but i haven't tried any of those i think the more champagne golden one with the skull on it isn't available anymore and that was really the one i was interested in now I think they only have a more icy pink toned highlighter that came with their Zodiac collection. So we have Precious Petals and Golden Flower Crown. I'd say they're quite similar in color, but this one just has a little bit more of a peachy pink champagne tone to it, and this is more champagne golden. These were also part of my Best of the Drugstore series. These offer a very blinding metallic finish to the skin. These really pack a punch, and they have an amazing shade range, colors for every skin tone. They have some fun colors, purple, blue pink. Then we have their Photo Focus Press Powder, and this is a fantastic dupe for the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. It just gives your skin a very natural, creamy sheen, but it's practically undetectable. It's basically a powder that isn't going to dry out your skin or make your skin not look like skin anymore. It just adds the tiniest hint of this soft veil to your face. It doesn't add as much coverage as the MAC one does, but the effect that it gives on the skin I find is very similar. Their eyeshadow palettes, you guys, are so freaking good. I need to buy more. This is the only one I have. It's the Not a Basic Peach Palette. Look how beautiful this is. I was actually really nervous when they first reformulated um, their shadows because I heard so much about their previous eyeshadow palettes that they were some of the best at the drugstore so I was really nervous that they were going to change the formula but evidently it's just gotten better. We have more shades in these now and they've included matte shades for each palette. Here's the thing, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I love the drugstore. I'm a big drugstore girl but when it comes to eyeshadows, Drugstore is just not my favorite. Like, they are just really lacking in quality, in my opinion. For me, I just think it's way more worth your money to just save a little bit and buy a palette that is freaking bomb. For the most part, I find that the drugstore really lacks the same pigmentation quality as high-end shadows. Some of them don't blend as well. But Wet n Wild, that is one of the cheapest of all kills it and I highly 100% 
recommend these palettes. They're pigmented. They blend just how I want in a shadow. These are incredible. And with some of the shimmer shades, I don't even need to wet my brush with MAC Fix Plus, which I pretty much always do, even with high-end palettes. There pretty much always tends to be one shade in the palette that's a flop. This blue I really don't like. It's very dull and unimpressive when it's on the eyes. But these other ones are so good. This shade right here is genuinely one of the prettiest shades I have ever seen in my life. If I ever came out with an eyeshadow palette, I would have to have a color like this in there. It genuinely just looks like a freaking sunset. It's red and pink and orange and then it has this gold flip reflect to it. Like, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, these are so good. Hey guys, uh, it's me, editing Anna. Um, please excuse my appearance. I just got done with an eight and a half hour shift. Um, it's late and I'm editing. And in the process of editing, I realized that I forgot to mention a very important product that I'm absolutely obsessed with from Wet n Wild. I cannot believe I didn't mention this. And it's so important to share with you guys that I just need to insert this clip in here. So this is the Ultimate Brow Mascara and this is amazing. I've raved about this a lot on my channel actually. This is in the shade nothing but brunette. So this is obviously like a tinted brow gel, but there's something about this that really gives a more bushy, fuller texture to my brows that regular tinted brow gels just don't do, and it keeps my hairs up in place all day long. The only negative that I would say is that it has a very thick applicator, as you can see when I compare it to my eyebrow. So just be careful, especially if you have thin brows like me. Be precise, be careful. So yeah, just be precise with your application and I guarantee you will love this. Um, that is all I have to say. Um, I'm going to get back to editing. I hope you enjoyed this short segment and that's all for now. And last category, I have a bunch of lip products to share with you guys. So to start this off, we have their gel lip liners. Okay, first of all, let, first of all, let me just say, I love that you do not need to sharpen these. They're just the perfect size. It's so easy to get a precise application, and they're really creamy, really pigmented. These actually remind me a lot of the ColourPop and Kylie lip liners. They're so beautiful. This one is in the shade Lay Down the Mauves, and then this one is Bare to Comment. In fact, these would make great satin matte lipsticks if you want to put them all over the lips. Then we have their classic bullet lipsticks. These are called their Mega Last Lip Colors. I actually have a whole collection of these. My sister gave me a bunch for Christmas and I am obsessed. She actually owns the entire collection. So we have the shades Bear It All and Cinnamon Spice. Bear It All, by the way, is supposed to be a dupe for Max Velvet Teddy. I'm just gonna say this. This formula has such a beautiful high-end feel to it. This is one of the best lipstick formulas ever. They are so comfortable, provide a beautiful satin finish that lasts all day long on the lips. You might have to reapply once if you have a ton of food one day. They're ultra pigmented and they have about like 50 shades. I could be totally exaggerating, but I know they have a crap load. The only negative with these lipsticks is that I'm really not a fan of the packaging. It's very flimsy, a bit wobbly, and the caps can come off quite easily, so just be careful with that. But the, the, the stuff inside... It's amazing. Then we have their liquid lipsticks. These are their Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipsticks. My friend Charlie at work, actually, this is her favorite liquid lipstick formula ever. She was going berserk. Like the other day, she was like, Anna, have you tried these Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks? I'm like, yeah, I know, aren't they good? She's like, no, seriously, these are the best. I haven't touched up once all day. Look at this. I ate so much today. Look at this. It hasn't moved. It hasn't budged. Oh my gosh, they're so comfortable. Anna, Anna, these are so good. Have you talked about them? And I'm like, yes. So these are the shades Flame of the Game and Give Me Mocha. This color is one of my all-time favorite colors ever. It is so stunning, so eye-catching. I always get compliments when I wear this. It's such a bold, beautiful, bright orange with the tiniest bit of red undertone to it, so it's not straight up like clown lips. Again, they have a fantastic shade range. I would be careful though of some of the lighter colors in the collection. They can go on 
quite patchy so I would avoid those but as a whole as Charlie said, they're long lasting. They're not ridiculously drying on the lips. I think these are some of the best liquid lipsticks the drugstore has to offer. And last products are their Color Icon lip glosses. I have the shades Featherless and Pout of Paradise. This formula is so cool. It really feels quite watery and gel like, super comfortable and hydrating on the lips. I don't get goopiness at all throughout the day. They're not the most super duper long lasting, but it's a gloss, it's easy to check on and reapply. These provide a medium pigmentation, so I wouldn't buy their super deep shades because those do not look so hot. That was actually featured in a makeup disappointments video. But I love these shades and I would definitely give them a try. This is just like the perfect everyday classic nude shade. And this is just a really fun, funky color. I don't see shades like this at the drugstore very often in gloss form, so it's really cool. All right, you guys, so that is all for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed Join, make sure it gives the video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below if you have already if you might want to see me in any more videos I'd appreciate it so so much I hope you guys are having an amazing day and hope to see you in my next video bye